not sure killing him is on the table with what he can do. Unless it's Strider. All right. Oh, see. Is killing him really on the table? If it's by a party that has nothing to do with us, nothing to do with any of these factions, an outsider, no hair off our back, and for all you know, from what we've learned, they're trying to drag off some of our friends. So it's a concern for us all. Hmm. That might be the way to go about it. But one thing is for certain, the current ambassador, whatever he's called, is not to be trusted. He's loyal to the king of the elves. Fiercely loyal. The entire house is. He's no friend of any of ours. Circling back around, speaking about the Capitano, which is the first thing we did do, you understand all of the issues that we have in this province. We can do nothing about it until we secure this town itself. We have to get it under control. The first thing to deal with is the corruption. Anything that you hear, any leads that you get, we have to talk to each other and not outside of this bloody room. That is how people die. Whether you have good intentions or not, that is how people die. You cannot make this mistake. Now, we have reiterated that the Capitano has been getting a great deal of his money through spice and refinement of serenity. We have recently discovered a port that is abandoned. It is past Belano, somewhere along the coast. There are no roads to it, nothing. There has to be something there in order for them to move crates of goods, at least a wagon. <clears throat> what was the drop that thing, guys? Enough silver that the Capitano has, allegedly from one of the insiders and the guard. More silver than most nobles have. They have to be doing this pretty frequently. If you hear anything about where this port's entrance could be, see any suspicious wagon movement, we need to communicate. Eventually, most of you will be called upon to corner one of these wagons and catch them in the act. There is somebody that I know that is a direct mouthpiece and eyes for a man. If this man spoke, a man would listen. He will witness this. He will be our witness to what we have discovered. And he will give this proof along with what we capture. All in one swift movement. If we do this right, and coordinate our efforts, no one will die. None of us will die. But if they have a chance mm -hmm. to react and they use bureaucracy against us, we could die. It comes down to whether you want to keep getting beat, stolen from, or killed off, or you're willing to take a risk to deal with this man. But it all must stay here. That's all I have. Yeah. Anything down at the docks? Or any connections with those people we need to know. Any strange missive contracts? Shady individuals? <coughs> we need to know that as well. Any people that you hear going missing within the Imperium? Anything that the clinic staff seem to be worried about, like this recent patrol, we need to know. Anybody that looks like they're trying to move large shipments through the tavern or past it, we need to know. Any attempts by the Arlandis to interfere in this, we need to know. So they understand that. Crystal, loud and clear. Aye. Do not act without informing your allies in this room. Because if you do, you get yourself and others killed. And if somebody gets one of my friends killed again, I will not be as patient as I've been in the past. I think there's several people in this room that share that sentiment. So take that seriously. Is there anything else that you think needs to be disseminated? The attack well, in the um, um, 
rather the abduction uh, of myself by the clinic. I understand it to be the actions of a scared sergeant who didn't have the full picture. But how do we handle this? Just sweep it under the rug. It's like been handled. Happened? How so? Trust me. He's not a problem, That's... nor are his men. Well, he's not the only one in the clinic. That's my worry. I know that the sergeant is less fanatical. But there are others in there that apparently were very eager to do harm to Mr. Morgan. They were all under the command of that sergeant. I would like the details later. Anything else? Does he mind have something? What? Uh, recently when I was near the docks, there was this, uh, one of the guards at in the orange uniforms, I think that one of the sergeants came up and asked me if he, if I hear anything around the docks about other sergeants. I, he seemed to be against the Capitano. Something I won't, I can look more into if you want me to. You actually reminded me of something. There has been whispers in town about two men of the guard dying suddenly, the town guard, mind you, and one going mm. missing. Deserting was the word that was used. That man might know something. If we hear anything about a man that's on the run from the guard, we must get our hands on him before the guard does. That could be a lot of inside information. Could we get a name? He was small and diminutive. Go to places where perhaps maybe you shouldn't be and listen in to what is said. You are noticed, just act the part, scurry away, I've seen you do it before. Obviously, don't get yourself killed, but very few prideful people pay attention to a small hobbit, if you take my meaning. Holy. As for a name, no, I'm afraid, I have not heard it. But perhaps soon we can visit an insider, and they'll be able to give us a name. I, uh, you know, I'm the weaver and such. Recently, I, uh, I made a costume that I, uh, how do we say this? <sighs> well, you know, I don't suppose you saw somebody with a red mask and people were like, oh, that's a crazy person. They're assaulting people. Well, I, yeah, that was me. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I made an outfit mm. of which I can... Guys, you mean. Guards and one yes. Yes. As long I do believe I saw that yourself, earlier. As long as you do not get yourself captured, it might be a way to intervene in lesser issues, such as things surrounding the bathhouse and the bathhouse girls. I see. Um, Good. Just had something that's me, actually, you know. We'll try Wait. not to beat you in the dark. Uh, don't, uh, uh, Not worth asking. Just more of a... Any questions before we all go our separate ways? Yes. One. Uh, well, suffice it to say, I have a few things. First one, due to some unfortunate circumstances, I have some friends within the Azure Bulls who may be able to provide assistance as long as they may not be able to get caught here in, in Nautis. For those of you who are unaware, the, the Azure Bulls were looking for a slave here, a runaway who was framed for murder of her master. She's innocent of this, but the noblemen who did, who did set the bulls on her have turned around and gone to the Sordillo Company, basically kicked out the bulls in, in their entirety. If needed, hmm. I, have, I have a contact with them I can get to. That could be second... We need muscle for something. Hmm, second... I now have an inn with the castle. Nolzos, the slave master. Really? She's become my sponsor recently. Her 
stretch is limited, but she's able. I might be able to get a few things from her. It's enough for you to deliver barrels inside of the walls. Very smart. Hmm. Hmm. Might be able to utilize that if necessary. Anything else? We got one last question. A question. Well, this is in regard to the Capitano. Obviously, we're meeting here in secret. The fact that he might not know of us doing anything against him is probably very low. But my question is, if we start going after his funds, how can we be assured he's not going to retaliate against just the people of Nautis in general, us included? We have no guarantee Higher taxes. All, what else are we going to do? We have to do this right. Understand this, the Capitano is in the position he's in because the brothers must allow him to be there. They could remove him if they wanted, but they have not. So either he has power over them, or they are content to allow him to do what he's doing, or one of them is. If we act like we did in Ledford, that will get us killed. We have to take all the evidence we have and put it in front of as many trusted eyes as possible at once. We have to make it a bureaucratic nightmare. So on that note, you said you had information on the person who was, like, funding them or something? Yes. It's one of the missives he sent. What's Basically the guy's showing name? that he's... You're talking about Zenek. Zenek, yes. Can, can we get more dirt on him? Mm -hmm. Like, he's a merchant, right? He's what heavily indebted to... You can read it, yeah. Hmm? If you want to read it out loud for everyone. That works too. You're a fucking bitch for this. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a scroll. He's got a scroll. Huh. I actually have it memorized. <clears throat> oh, there mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> the notes that are here you seem to be pleading with a lady Hurl for more time on a debt. Hmm. That's... He doesn't have... Well, he's lying to her. He's saying he does have the coin. There's no need to send muscle or anything of the sort. <laughs> but the other letter here seems to be just somebody else, a confidant or informant, saying that the game that he's been playing, that we're aware of, the shortages on the market, is not covering enough. And that he's borrowing from others to pay back other debts. He's playing a very dangerous game back and forth. And that something back home needs to be addressed. This man, Zanuck, I mean, it's public enough as it is, he's known to be a very wealthy and influential merchant. It might be better to blackmail him into support rather than to destroy him outright, is my thought. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, if we can get more flipping. dirt on him somehow. Um, he has to know that you are aware of what it is that's he's afraid of that from one me word from specifically you, well you're the only one who can get in you could always try and bluff him if we don't know what's going on at his home pretend like well, you, you do could as well <sighs> I didn't know if it was for both of you or one of you had that pass we both technically do I believe <clears throat> bluffing could work but using the proof that we have and making it clear that at a moment's notice, whether you disappear or can't check in somewhere, it gets sent to both people at the castle, people at the Merton's Guild, and this Lady Hurl. Unless he cooperates, that may scare him into distancing himself from the Capitano. What's more scary, having to hire security to keep the Capitano away from you? Well, having your entire estate fall into ruin because your financial <laughs> lies are thrown <sighs> out. This is a risky endeavor. It is. But I think that you and Martha will be able to handle it. Hmm. All right. On top of dealing with that, soon we're going to have to figure out about this port and scout it out. Whatever information is found out about that, I will let you know. I will more than likely bring Sharik and Sarah. Keep the group small. Oh. 
Yes. You don't need a wind catcher, especially if it's nighttime. It would be really. Well, they'd be going on foot, not by ship. Oh. oh. Okay. Depending oh, on how many see. people you need, I spent uh, my months over in the east learning how to. Well, guerrilla warfare. So you said it might be helpful. Precisely. And if anything goes wrong, we could send you as a runner, since you're the fastest of us all, and bring reinforcements. Hopefully, that, that could be, be done. Case. Zine. Outside of you know, Tordi yes. um, can see in the dark, and she's good with the blade. Wouldn't hurt to bring her along. Um, if you insist, I will. We could potentially have something on two fronts. Me and Tori can be on the more aquatic side. We can go in into water from the beach. I've been <laughs> diving with Tori recently. She's getting pretty I good at diving, so to. especially if a <sighs> ship comes in. Understood. Maybe Maybe it's a night time with the ship you can see that. No, Tazim is right on this. I've had a thought. We've noted that their goods have not been seen coming and going. The only thing we have to go off of is several times people at the docks apparently have reported that they've seen a blacked out ship traveling up and down the channel in the middle of the night. They would come and go within the same evening. It has to be what we're looking for. We should get eyes on it the first time, see what they're trying to do, but not act on it yet until we know what their procedure is. That way we can interrupt it without any fatalities on our side. But if they're getting it into notice, if it's not by cart, it has to be another way either by smaller boat or underwater. Do they have any Triton that work for them? Or divers? I don't know, but it's worth looking into. Hmm. Well, if it is Sawtooth as is suspected, they do have a Triton wind catcher. Hmm. Worth investigation. But... I don't have anything else. There's a couple things I need to work mm. on. Remember, it does not leave this room. And everyone in here is your ally. These are the people that you will count on in the days to come. Don't fuck this up. We could finally have a safe place if we do this right. Mm. <laughs> And use the back door when you leave. For the love of God, don't pile out of the forge. I'm oh, gonna wait till most people don't all leave. Don't all door. leave at the same time, too. Right. It's open. Thank you. I think I may know what I need to do then with that. I would have recommended you if I didn't believe that you were capable for this. Hmm. I'll have to ask a very important favor for you, though. Oh? Critically important. Mm -hmm. If we're sneaking about that night, <laughs> I'm going to have to leave my something. Let him know someone. <laughs> I see. It's very it's important to me, so you can't let anything happen to it, okay? I promise it'll be in good hands. Okay. <laughs> if you want to try playing it, you can. I think I know what sure. I need to plan on doing. It's not much, but if anything, <clears throat> the usual. We just have the stuff and everything up and ready just in case. Well, now we have to figure out how we that. want to play that. Uh, yeah. Yep. But he's so he's obviously he could, probably has somewhere in the Merchant's Guild, right? Yes. He's on the top floor, at least that's where he keeps a lot of his um, in the corner. Good. Just one of the most powerful merchants here. Or at least ask him. See your thoughts on it. As a smoke screen, we could. Yeah, um... One of the most powerful merchants oh. is absolutely broke. Yes, well, he's big enough blessed with the elves. But <clears throat> the thing is, he would lose that status if this got out. So we keep that close to the chest. We get him to work maybe not for us as a group, but under the guise of the Quillian Blade, using our sort of personas we've built up mm -hmm. as greedy 
bastard coin mogul. I mean, it's He'll as simple that. as we get some information on him, like some, I'm sure he's got something in his office, right? We have everything we need for placing out. No, no. That we no. Do. Yes. You, you think that's all we have? That's all we need. All he needs to know is that if anything were to happen, or if he notifies the wrong people, isn't it, isn't it on the same piece of paper? That's a copy. It's a, yeah. it's a copy. Yes, but he knows. Anybody that we can write know. that. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm not saying we pass it off as his. We know the information, and that's what's important. We have runners set up that if anything happens to us, and we don't check in. They take riders to the keep, as Tazine said, to this lady Ho, and to um, the merchant skill. Everyone will find out. He'll be ruined. At that point, there has to be something else that we well, uh, that we can get, like a ledger or something yes. that shows he owes. Perhaps. Them. I have that. <laughs> no. uh, you have that. I have did... an imperial a part of this imperial manuscript that says that they've been getting uh, goods from a merchant under a pseudonym. Where did you get that? These goods also from the late Major Tobman via air proxy. Hmm. That information led us to a caravan where we found out uh, that the man that they were working for was a gentleman matching his description, waiting on the top floor for payment. And would be important. Caravan go after bribing them, and the town just there. Got his um. I met him and confirmed the identity. Yes. Do we know who he currently? Finding you as well as Seth and anyone else that is willing. Be free for a second. surprised hope you've been taking it easy he's uh <laughs> I have something yeah. it is a something wrapped in what looks like cloth As you unwrap it, in your hand is a steel dagger. It has a familiar feeling to it. It's light, as requested. You reckon it would fit in the sheath that you have on your wrist. Though it has a bit of Kyla flair to it, as a cross guard similar to his. It's built like something Kyla would have done for you. The pommel is the engraving of a wolf's head. And at the base of the blade is a symbol. Looks like a very crude symbol of... Looks like three figures in a circle. That is one of those symbols I was talking about. It means family. It's yours. Oh, 
and made sure to fit they didn't want to fillet it. the right size so we could put it in the sheath still. I know how you like to keep them in there. It's steel, so it's a little heavier, but it'll stay sharper for longer. Mm. It is razor sharp. <laughs> You've seen Kyla sharpen things before. It is probably as sharp as he keeps his dagger, which you know. Cut through anything like butter. I hope that suits you. It looks good on you. I did my best to do it justice. To keep it the same, but evolved. <laughs> I take it it's got the seal of approval then. <laughs> of course. I know you put it to good use. sincere embrace from a pure heart one who cannot speak in words must speak in actions We'll have to test it out sometime. When you're feeling 100%. I used as much of the original as I could. Proud of you, little wolf. Okay. <laughs> Until the next night finds us. Venora just ran off that way. I don't know if you're trying to keep up with her. I think she's doing her horse riding lessons with uh, Harry. I won't keep you. <laughs> the wolf runs off, chasing after a future, something better than what exists now. The blade is a keepsake as much as a weapon a keepsake of a time and place frozen in the past, a memory of bygone days. But the weapon, the weapon will be used to carve a path into the future, a better one than exists now. She 
deserves it. Hello again. You remember me, right? didn't have time to do our lesson today. <clears throat> and if I knew how to ride you without help, I would have gone out and stretch your legs a little bit. <sighs> Supposed to be looking after you, remember? I assume they feed you for being here. Assume that's not something I need to do. <clears throat> Maybe I'll find something for you to eat. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find Basil now after all that shit. <laughs> Have you checked the beach? Fuck! I just remembered that. Either they're over there or they're over there. And I'm gonna go there. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I have the luck. Thank you, Shari. <sighs> meant to be enjoyed much like all things in this world <laughs> the little lid an apple lantern strange I 
think he just did a racist. Huh, funny. Do you work Where here? In the good hell is good Bob? I know, right? But do I look like I work here? I don't know. I feel like I get served by a different person every time. Is he really gone that lazy in his old age? Well, he's certainly I'm not Bucci. fucking here. Besides, you should know me. It's me, I'm Bucci. Ah, that's right. Yeah. I remember you. Exactly, and I know you. You're the one that said we would buy from me and you never did. I thought about it. What do you sell again? Oh, you thought about it. I sell cheeses, the finest in not. Oh, I'm right. I'm sure, if anything, you might have had some of Bucci's famous blue cheese. It's gotten quite popular. Oh, again. I had some down at the For party the last night. time in a row. Actually. Yes, what did you think? I'm not a fan Most of blue cheese. Most is it not? You're not a fan of blue cheese. I don't like the mold. Yeah, I know. That's that's a me thing, though. That's not like a you thing. That's a me thing. Good. Because if you were insulting my blue cheese, there'd be a problem. No, I'm sure if people, like, if I like blue cheese, I would love your blue cheese. But I just don't like blue cheese, so. All right, all right. How about this? I will take some time to give your cheese analysis. So, what do you like? Do you like more of a softer cheese, a harder cheese, or like a mid-ground? So, which one stands out to you? You mean, like, if I poke it, if it... Goes, or if it goes, yes. ding, ding, ding. the texture of the cheese you somewhere, know, somewhere in the middle. In your mouth, yeah, I like a little hung. I like to be able to go somewhere hung. In the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just might have an ideal cheese for you. Okay. If I can get in tomorrow, could I count upon you as a potential customer? How much would the cheese cost? Per slice, I could probably do. I'm usually, if anything, if I have the chance ever of a repeatable customer, I can do basically about seven copper, eight copper potentially, depending on how difficult it is to get. But normally, it's not such a problem for me and my ability. All right, Booty, how so confident are you seven. that I would like this cheese? My good sir, I have been serving cheese to Nautis for over 25 years. I love his blue. Yes! Well, thank you! See, mm -hmm. an adoring fan that knows me worldwide. He is just yeah, one of many, but of I love yeah. yeah. I tried. That's, that was the ones three I tried. Wheels. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of it? Did you love, did you love it? Yeah, it's good. Exactly. So if you if while the blue cheese may have not been yours, you can obviously the satisfaction of my other customers. So I, yeah. I am quite confident in my belief that you will in fact love what I have in plan I have planned for you. Okay. If that's the case then I'm gonna give you ten copper in advance, then you find me tomorrow. And I'll give it a shot. I like your attitude. You're forward and not and of not basically trying to play around corners like, like all the dodgy bastards in the merchant skill. No, yeah, I'll I hate have those your guys. product to you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, are you a merchant of any kind? Do you sell anything? I'm a blacksmith by trade, so I deal with merchants. Oh, you're his assistant. I've met him. It's Tazim, correct? That's the, the one. Gruff man, a little rough around the edges, but if anything, it seems like a decent fellow. Yeah. Interesting. Well, um, I don't exactly have any use of your skill set. I hardly ever need a sharpening of a cheese knife. Things not meant to cut fingers, meant to cut cheese. Damascus Easy. cheese knife. Gradian steel. You're good. You're putting notions in my head of things that I may you want. You could sell a bundle. May not, may never, never need. And I happen to know a woodworker too. Ooh. You could make a cheese board and have the, the little knife with it too. Ooh, that's you, that's something you, for you to you think about. I, I don't want to push anything you on you. You are good. Just, you know. Talking shop. Let Bucci do this one thing for you and then we can talk for the business. Let's do it. Cheese knives of Central. You are clever. <laughs> what is your name? I don't think I ever caught you. I am Shariq. It's good to meet you officially. Sharik, well, Bucci, but 
those who know me a little better can call me Anthony. So if you want to call me Anthony, go for it. Hmm. We'll meet again, Shriek, and hopefully if anything we might be able to share a goddamn fucking drink, you lazy... <laughs> it shouldn't be me, the old man. I just been a friend of mine for a long time. You know what, I'm just gonna... You can... Go ahead, I'm not gonna say shit. <laughs> go for it. Can I get you anything while you're here? While I'm here? I know how I much want... they cost, so I'm not... Throw me one of those carrots. You want a carrot? Okay. Throw me one of those carrots. Let me find sure. Carrot. If anything, I'd, be, I'd rather not if anything happen. See one of his mugs is out or missing. Right. So I might as well just grab a snack. That's pretty depressing. What? You having a carrot for a snack? Bucci can't be healthy. <laughs> like, if you want to be healthy... Do you know how hard it is to live a lifestyle off meat and cheese almost entirely? I could manage it, probably. If I had the right cheese. It's not that easy. You know what, I'll have a carrot too. If you have the right booty cheese. <laughs> well, I got what I needed. I'm gonna leave, uh, I don't know, fucking 20 copper here for them. That was, uh, that should cover two carrots, I'm sure. He's not too stingy. Good oh, luck. He'll probably wonder why, if he ever checks his stock, why there's stumps in this <laughs> thing. But, I mean, the money's there, so he'll he'll put one in one together. He ain't slow. Good luck, Bucci. I will see you on the morrow. I wouldn't know. I've never really met him. But, uh, I know, I'm sure some of the people that he is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're my horse now. There you go. She's going to want to uh, understand and do so. At least it gives her a good reason to stay at the clinic. Fucking kind of shit in Nordis.
That's what you sound like. Is it? No, to be fair, you sound a lot more monotone than normal. Yeah. Getting tired. About that time. Going around town with tongs. There's like three people that always have this problem. You have an apple, but that's probably supposed to be there. I just threw my job. My job. There goes my there go. lantern. <laughs> Anyway, I'll put this in front of your shop. Your wall is skin good. Yes. <clears throat> See. <sighs> well. <clears throat> well, now I'm blind. What? What? I can't <clears throat> see what you're threatening me with. Hammer. Okay, hold on. Where the fuck is it? Oh, oh there it is. Be right back, chat.
It's so hard to track my fucking tracker.
Du, 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 du. <laughs> How you guys going, chat? Yeah, I wanted more horse riding lessons. But <clears throat> Owen was like super busy today. So it's all good. Does Arn know about the meeting? I mean, I'm assuming he's the one that threw it into the forge, no? <clears throat>
think up here's a good spot. <coughs> oh, here he comes. He's a drow killer. Watch out, elves, here I'll kill you up. Oh, here he comes. He's a dread killer. He's a monkey. Yeah, so this could happen at like any point of the night. <clears throat> so I have no idea. <laughs> Shoe.
Who are you muting? <clears throat> Fucking nope. Fucking taught you. You know, fuck this up for everyone. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Marcus?
We know who it is. We've seen those colors before. Is she here? Did she read the note too? <clears throat> she saw Marcus leave town and followed and then like saw him sitting there and then left and then came back <clears throat> sounds strange The second I go down there to confront her, <coughs> other person's gonna show up, I can feel it.
<clears throat> That's what I'm hoping. Another person will just walk through the bush and scare her off. <clears throat> I don't know why she's sus of him. Ugh, my throat's so gluggy and gross.
Spying, are we? I see you two couldn't resist. Well, I wasn't going to, but Tordy snooped and yes, said it looked I saw. like Marcus was signaling someone in armor. I don't know what this is. I don't like it though. But Torty's right down there. I'm surprised he hasn't been seen already. <clears throat> hmm. You have little trust. I see. No. But this isn't ordinary. It's not. Then again, you're here too, are you? I found a note. Did you? <clears throat> yeah. I'm a little worried. And what did it say? <sighs> Marcus was going to be, uh... Well, he asked someone, and I figured it out now that it is on to come down here <clears throat> armored and with his weapon because he's gonna need it looks like a challenge <sighs> but why? I don't know <clears throat> the only thing I could think of is his views on non-humans I'm going to sneak down there and get closer in case shit hits the fan, I'm going to intervene, but until then I'm not going to. While I do that, I'm going to send Torty back up here with you. Okay? I plan to help if things get wrong. <clears throat> if shit gets bad, I'll wave one of the torches and summon you over. I won't be able to see. I'm in plate armor. I'll trip and fall down this ravine. Help me get closer. I'm uh, secure. <clears throat> if this is a duel of any sorts, we can't get involved, honor-wise. I understand. Here. <clears throat> you should be able to see from here. Mm. I'm gonna send Tordy back to you. Damn, I'll trip and fall down this ravine. Every fucking time. It's been like chill all day until this happens. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Moved over here. I figure once they, if they do finish fighting, <clears throat> I'll just be scrambling in my full plate armor to try and get away. And that's the path up. All right. Thank I told you me. she's resetting her eyes. <clears throat> All right. Well. It looks like they're gonna fight. I'll slowly cross the river to get close. Maybe I can block a final strike or something. But please hang back. All right. I've got a couple bandages on me if it's necessary. That would be handy if shit gets bad. Take one. Thank you. Mm. You're a good man, Vesrin. That was a first. <clears throat> mm. You know, Tori called me a hero the other day. Did she? There she is. Oh. Do you need to explain this to her? It might be some sort of honor duel not to intervene. Kyla will take care of... Sharik will take care of... anything if there's a problem. And... I'll give him a bandage. Just in case. Okay, I have a potion just in case he's... <clears throat> I have an advanced one on me. Okay, good. Thank you for understanding, both of you. I didn't want to have to shoot you. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was worried. Worried or suspicious? I was, uh, Following worried Marcus. because I saw... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, well, uh, what else am I supposed to think if he looks like he's signaling right next to an ocean after getting a lot of important details? You know? You're not wrong. Mm -hmm. I wish we could trust everyone more. I really do. Yeah, same. But, you know, I don't trust him because he threatened to fucking burn me, so, you know. <laughs> you have to make sure to turn anyone else away that shows up. <clears throat> if they show up. Okay. Uh, that'll be your job, Tori. I am not able to see them. Yeah, Tyler, yeah. at the mention of this of turning people away, you recall many of the things that Arn has told you over the years about knights, lords, vassals, courtly conduct, and so forth. You know that if this is an honor duel or might turn into one of some kind, that it must be allowed to play out, at least to a point. However, Despite how quick you are, <clears throat> you wonder if you would be able to intervene at a timely moment. The line between life and death when it comes to something like that is very, very thin. If there's going to be a margin to stop something like that, but also allow it to play to completion, the margin will be very small. I was planning, right, uh, that... um. Once they were distracted or whatever, I was going to try to get between uh, uh, them and the bush and all that kind of stuff so I could swim into the bush and then hide there. That way I was nice and close. That's what I'm going to do. That was my original plan. If it turns into a fight, okay, they'll start cool. clashing swords, and when that happens, I'll swim across. They shouldn't be able to hear me that way. They'll be too focused on each other. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but good. If this is what I think it is. It certainly looks like and it. what do you think it is? It looks like a duel. Yeah, from what I read on the note, it looked like a challenge. I don't know what for, though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or it could be a ceremony, but that doesn't make sense since Marcus is the one to invite Tazim here. Mm. We know Marcus has been... Having reservations about non-humans, that's the only thing I could think this is <clears throat> about. 
The issue is... Tazim doesn't need to do this. By his right, he doesn't need to accept this challenge. Is he the type that turned challenge down? No, he's not. He accepted not. the challenge by me. Yeah. I'm a nobody. <clears throat> this is a little different, but you're right. The only person, the only reason he exactly. would do this is because it is Tazim. I'm saying from legal sense and from his positioning. <clears throat> Right. Yeah, he he told me that uh, Marcus told me that Tazim was like a lord or something. Did he know? I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, yeah, he told me that uh, he was uh, Sir Brooker and Tazim's Sir or something. I don't know. I don't know what a lot of it meant, but he acted like I did. I was just like, okay. <clears throat> Sure. Wait, he acted like he did. What, what did you mean? Like he was accusing you of something? Uh, yeah, because I asked him, hey, how long have you been a caretaker for Tazim? Because, like, that is what he said <clears throat> earlier, right? When I tried to get in from the top and stuff and he's like i'm a caretaker so i was like oh how long have you been a caretaker and he's like huh we both know that you know that he's a lord and then i am his sir and i was like huh you know so um yeah interesting yeah he was very smug about it <clears throat> you said he threatened to burn you yeah, yeah, he, he, uh, did they not tell you that? Uh, um, out of nowhere, he started commenting about how, uh, you know, I'm an alcoholic and how that's a problem, it's a, uh, the crutch. And I said, yeah, uh, same as it is for a light for you guys, haha, <laughs> you know, making a joke that they can't fucking see at night. And then he's like, oh, I worship the light. And then if you, you tell anyone, I'll burn you. And I was like, huh? That's a hard turn. Yeah, uh, he's like, sorry you for yeah. that you saw my facade drop. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, we kind of worked it out. I yelled at them a bit. Let them have a uh, oh good earful afterwards. But, you know, it kind of caught me off guard because, you know, he previously, like, kissed my hand and gave me a vase full of flowers. Didn't see the whole burn threat and, uh, happening. Mm -hmm. I had crazy uh, lovers before, but I uh, didn't see <clears throat> that, so yeah. We have to let them I also had a long out. talk with him. Yeah. Yes, we do. I know Tazim did. Torty. Mm. I need to teach you to sneak better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. I was hit before Marcus was. Oh shit, really? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, I followed he him. Actually... He got all... Huh. <laughs> he found me spying on you, spying on them. I was sitting there for a minute and figuring out. I got worried about what you told me. I was f f trying to figure out how to interact with you. I didn't know it was you to begin with. <laughs> and you opened your visor. Uh, I'm glad <laughs> I embraced. I, that would have been a strange interaction. <laughs> Don't let me forget to put my helmet back on if they come this way. <clears throat> I don't mind them knowing, but I don't know what's happening. No. Rolling something. With a 10 and a 7, Vezrin and Torty didn't hear it, but Kyler, with a natural 20, you can make out the words screamed, almost shouted by... Marcus, he's not even yours. What did you just say? 
You screamed something. Hmm? He said he's not even yours. <laughs> oh, it's one of those conversations. He really has that big of an issue of non-humans. He's Imperial. Yeah, I gathered that much. <sighs> Despite what we did to try and trust him, it seems his true colors are showing through now. Why now of all times? <laughs> Can't handle it. I think I understand. Mm -hmm. He's miles away from anyone that he ever knew as family. They think he's a traitor, a deserter. The people that he once loved and cared for revile him. His own people view him. If they knew all of what he had done, would view him as just that, a traitor. <clears throat> I think... It's... It's weighing on him. We've extended so much to him. Crack. So he challenges the guy he's sworn to? We don't know if it's a challenge yet. Stop. I think... If anything, a challenge would be the most honorable thing he could do. You are right. Instead of going behind his back... I at least have to give him credit for that. <clears throat> Not that I really... I don't know, cared about this whole honor thing. I think it's a bunch of trite. I think it's in the way, but... Maybe he picked up a thing or two after all. Mm hmm? Maybe he picked up a thing or two after all. Mm hmm. Trying to go about right. this with honor. tried to help him feel at home, but we it's hard when I don't even know what that feels like. <laughs> Rather, I've never been <coughs> for someone. What is this thing doing on my back? I didn't bring this. <clears throat> Your old man can put up a pretty good fight. I know that much at least. Marcus is in full plate. Dizim is in leather. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Well, Dizim has advantage as far as combat goes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh, shit. Drowgate, Drowgate, Drowgate is going on. Yeah. We don't know who we're watching. Sarah, possible honor of some type. Sarah. Huh. Come here. Yes. There was a note, I think, that was given to Tazim earlier today from Marcus. I, from what I can glean from it, he's challenging him to a duel of some sorts. We need to let them play this out. What? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't going to interrupt, but... 
They seem to just be having a conversation now. If it sparks up into a fight, I'm gonna move over to the island. You guys hang back here. I'll have my bow trained on that fucker. <clears throat> He's not doing anything stupid tonight. We need to let them here. play it out. Of course, but if your father falls... That's why I'm over there. Him. I'm so glad you guys are here because I thought I would have to be all on my own. And then I, uh, my whole plan was to hide in the bush and throw my glass bottle if I it got bad. I was wondering what so you were like... planning to do when I watched you clumsily <laughs> yeah. walk your way over here. <clears throat> we I, also... I thought you... I was doing great. We also have to ensure that no one else shows up. I do, yes. Right. <sighs> so, how's everyone's day been? <laughs> oh, you know, bought some pirates, sat in a long meeting, was helpful only slightly, but still proud of that. Hmm. That's about it. Have you eaten yet today? No. No, oh, we're gonna have to bother Gurbom when we get back. Mm. It's good to see Gurbom finally. Uh, I was worried about him being gone all day. Kalanj, Mintazim. I fucking hate these names. <laughs> Shareem. Sorry. Yeah, Reem is good. Tazik. They Reem me trying to remember all of them. <laughs> By the way, I've been thinking about going by a different name. No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Cock and Balls one. You should go back to that one. He's back, you know. He is back. He made an appearance today. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he saved oh Lottie. One of your personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I need to speak with all three of you after this. Mm -hmm. during all these. All right. Imagine if they uh, actually like uh, discuss it out and it's all cool and they turn around and we all have to scatter like rats. That would be the best thing. <laughs> that would so be the best.